Hey y'all, Craig here, Old Bay Craps, and Happy New Year. Um, I'm going to be starting a new Learning Craps series called Dice Sets. And this is in search of what dice sets work for me for when I need a number that I need. Maybe to finish the ATS, maybe I'm looking to get a third hit on a number, or a repeater. Um, I want to look and search for what works for me. So we are going to be going through various dice sets. Um, we will start with a, a primary set, like a one, two, one, two for today. We will then pitch up one and, and do two, six, two, six, and pitch it up again to do six, five, six, five, and then um, pitch it up one more time to do five, one, five, one. Um, and then we'll be reversing it. So this is gonna be a very long series. Um, and we're gonna to try to be doing, I only have uh, roughly 50 blue chips. So we're gonna be rolling for as many blue chips as I have. I think I have 49 or 50. Um, so it's not going to be an extensive count on uh, how many throws. I know that many people say, well, you need to throw a thousand times to really find out. Um, I don't play that game for the long game. Um, I'm more interested in the short game as well as I'm interested in finding out, um, which I put into a chat earlier today in another show. Um, you know, when you press up your bets and then you regress to, let's say, 66 inside or 96 across, it always seems to me that the very next roll happens to be a 7. Um, so I'm also in search of what is that dice set that I could use as a place marker to, go th to then go back into the normal dice sets that I'm comfortable with. But I'm also interested in finding out what different dice sets give me as the dominant number. So I hope you welcome to this journey with me. Um, again, this is just going to be a throwing journey for part one of each dice set. The second part of each dice set, which will be a separate video, we will then do betting and betting based on what the dominant numbers were for that dice set. All right, so again, in this particular video, which is part one, series two, episode one, part one, or part A, I rather should say, um, we are just going to be counting what the dice give us. We well, will be throwing from stick left two the entire time. And today's dice set, which is featured in the description or in the title, is going to be the dice set one two one two. So let's get started. All right, and the very first roll, not surprising, is a three four seven. So we need to mark the seven, which I'll mark right here. And we'll go right back to the one, two, one, two. Roll number two. Four, six, ten. And we have a one, six, seven. Four, 
Throw number four. Roll number four went off the table. Again, this is roll number four. And we have a three, five, eight. Eight easy. And we have a two five seven. Or number six. Dice off table. I have a very bouncy table. I can see that you guys cannot see. So I'm just gonna put these here. That's the seven. I'm also working on my mechanics, as you can obviously tell. And we have a midnight. We have aces. We have two, one, three. Three one easy four. This is rule number ten. And that was another roll off the table. Let's see if we can tighten that grip up. And we have a six two eight. Six four easy ten. Oh, 
part six. Five four nine. Four five nine. No roll, dice off table. Three, two, five. One four five. <clears throat> One five easy six. Four two six. Four five nine. Six easy eight. So with more focus, we are hitting more inside numbers. Four six easy ten. Three six nine.
three, two, five. Four two six. Two five seven. Six one seven. One five easy six. And we have twenty two rolls to go. Five one easy six. We have a midnight. Three six nine. Another six three nine. Twenty-one. We're all, this is roll thirty-two. Six four easy ten.
two six easy eight. Got a two by four, two, four, easy six. We have aces. Got a hard six. And just remember, every dice set is different for every arm. So you have to find out what works for you. There's a one, two, three shocker. And that was more likely due to hitting the chip. So that's another seven. That's the sixth seven. And we have 11 rolls to go. We have a one, four, five. We have a one, three, easy four. We have a three, one, easy four. I will tell you, I'm gripping the dice um, about halfway down. For me, that keeps the dice a little bit more together. And that's a two, five, seven. Four, four, one, five. We have six more rolls.
One, three, easy, four. There's a six five yo. First one. Four five nine. Last few rolls. I saw the table, no roll. Another six five yo. We have two more rolls. It's a one, two, three shocker. Kind of funny, we hit the shocker on the way down. All right, last roll. And we're gonna end with a one, four, five. All right, that was the one, two, one, two dice set. And let's see what the dominant numbers were. I think we know it's not wasn't the horn. Wasn't the four, wasn't the eight, wasn't the ten. We hit seven sevens though. Seven nines. Eight sixes and six fives. So we had six fives, eight sixes, seven nines, seven sevens using the one, two, one, two dice set. All right, thanks for watching. And this was Learning Craps uh, Dice Sets Series 2, Episode 1A. Uh, join me next time for Episode 1B, where we use the, we start betting for the 7, 5, 6, and 9, and see what happens. Thanks for joining me. This is Old Bay Craps. If you like this learning series, hit the like button, click subscribe, click the notification bell. And when you're at your tables, season your bets. Good night.